Alright guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my haul of stuff that Eric and I purchased while we went yard sailing. Um, this would have been from the footage that you saw last. Um, so I did put up a cha-ching as my last video before I put up this haul, but I like to put up my cha-chings on Sundays. It's just a preference that I have. So I'm going to share with you what I got and what I have it currently listed for and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to start with a yard sale that Eric and I stopped at. Um, I found a lot of good stuff at this particular yard sale. I actually went back to it because I wanted to get more money. Um, out of the, the bank because there was other stuff that I wanted to buy and I didn't have enough money on me. Um, okay, so I found doo -doo 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 -doo. I found a lot of lounge fly items at this yard sale and lounge fly items are definitely can be on the pricey side and they sell well and some of them can sell even better than others depending on what they are and how you know desirable um they are so she had two of these miniature lounge fly backpacks this one here was actually made for disney parks um and it has all of these little disney cats all over it as well as cat ears. I mean, how can you not love this thing? And it is brand new. Still had the Disney Parks tags attached to it. So she did want $12 for this backpack, but it is new with tag and it was definitely worth picking up at the $12 price. So I currently have this one listed for $89.99 and that is a buy it now. Most people have these listed for way more than $89 um, and there are a few that I saw that were slightly cheaper but I don't think those were new with tag. So I posted mine up at $89.99 so hopefully it sells at that price. Uh, but definitely a great score there. I totally would have kept this for myself, but um, I had just gotten that Tommy Bahama backpack um, not that long ago, and it's much larger and can fit more stuff in it. So I kept that one, and this one is obviously for sale. So she also had this one as well, and again, this is a lounge fly, um, not for Disney parks though, but this is a Lion King themed one. It has um, Simba on and Timon and Pumbaa, and it's just like this really nice uh, jungle print. But again, this is new with tags, still has the tags attached. So this one as well, I spent $12 on, and I have it listed for a buy it now of $49.99. So slightly um, cheaper. I did see someone have this same one for sale for like $50. So mine is like a cent cheaper, but you know, that might get someone to, to buy it since it's just, you know, it's ever so slightly cheaper. But again, it's awesome that this was new with tag, so another one I would have loved to have kept. I'm not done with the lounge fly stuff at her sale. I also found this Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs um, wristlet clutch. Um, the wristlet part you can take off to like carry it as a clutch if you don't want to carry it as a wristlet. But again, this is new with tag. I paid $5 for this one. On the back it says who is the fairest one of all and it still has like it's um, little styrofoam piece in there since it's new and I listed this one as a buy it now for $25.99 so that was a great score. I also picked up a brand new with tags Lilo and Stitch umbrella that was originally from Hot Topic um, that I paid $2 for and I listed it up as a buy it now for $19.99 and it already sold. It did go to a subscriber so she must be watching um, the things that I post up. Maybe saw me pick it up or debated on picking it up in my um, yard sale footage video but that already did sell so I can't show it here but there will be a picture. Um, and also at this girl sale, I found, this is all the same yard sale still, I found this bottle of Victoria's Secret Tropic Splash Body Spray. So this was $1. It looks like maybe it was used once or twice. It smells so good. But anyway, paid a dollar for it. And I currently have this listed as a buy it now for $43.99. I tell you guys all the time, um, 
when they discontinue certain fragrances, no matter who they're made by, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, um, whatever, they can sell really high. Um, sometimes it's hard knowing which scents sell for those high prices. So if you come across one, your best bet is to look it up. Um, I don't always like looking up stuff at yard sales. Sometimes I feel weirded out by it. I mean, I'm already like recording everything. So it's hard sometimes to stop filming and like look stuff up and everything like that. So I bought this one kind of on a whim for a dollar. I figured if it's not really worth anything, I'll just use it myself. But it ended up being a scent that is harder to find. So definitely um, a good score there for a dollar. I got this at her sale. This is just a Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I pay $1 for this. A girl can never have enough mascara. So this I'm keeping for myself. Um, I didn't look it up. I don't know if this is discontinued or not. If it would happen to be, uh, that might end up getting listed. I don't know. Um, I also got this little Squishmallow there. This is like a little green dragon. It's just a small squish mallow. This was 50 cents. I did not list this yet. Um, I don't think he's really worth much. This is the first squish mallow I have ever found out in the wild. Um, some squish mallow stuffed animals can sell really, really well. They have a huge kind of cult following right now, just very, very popular. Um, and people are wanting to collect them. Not all of them are worth a lot. This one here, as I stated, isn't really worth much, and it is a smaller one, but it was the first one I found, so I decided to pick him up, and while I was out yard selling this past week, I found another one. Again, I don't know if that one is really worth, like, a lot, but I may lot it up with this one. It never fails as soon as I start recording. Someone needs to be outside mowing their lawn or just creating all kinds of ruckus, so I apologize for all that. So I may put him with a Squishmallow that I got in the last year sale that I went to this past week. So that's why I haven't listed him yet. So the next two items um, that I got at her yard sale, I picked up a Coach bangle bracelet. This bracelet ended up not being authentic. Um, I did list it on Facebook Marketplace, not as Coach. Um, I listed it as designer inspired because you can list stuff on Facebook Marketplace that's not authentic as long as you put designer inspired and don't put the um, brand name anywhere in your listing or title and that did sell. I have been selling on Facebook Marketplace. This is like a new venture for me. I haven't really talked about it much or at all I think yet. Um, so I will be once I have more sales, I, I have sold a lot of stuff so far on there um, since I started, which was just like a couple weeks ago. Um, but once I have more sales under my belt and I, you know, become more and more comfortable with it, I'll talk about it more and talk about how to sell on Facebook Marketplace a little bit more. So I sold that bangle on Facebook Marketplace. I paid $3 for it. And I think I ended up profiting about six bucks off of it. So not much, but again, it wasn't authentic. And same with this item as well. This I got at her yard sale. This was a Kate Spade, kind of like little ID card. It's like super glittery here on the back. Um, I did pay $3 for this as well. And this also is not authentic. So I will be putting this up on Facebook Marketplace. Um, just because you can't sell um, counterfeit uh, goods on eBay. So one of the ways I'll show you, I'll show you what I know, um, how to tell that this is not authentic. So this whole Kate Spade New York should be smaller. It should be further down on here. You can see that E on the end is super wonky. Like it just looks like a complete mess, right? And even the spade it's not completely filled in gold. Um, there was a tag in here and you can tell by the tag as well. There would have been like either like a UPC on the back, a price, something or other. This is just like a basic green tag. And then on the inside, you can tell just quality. The quality is not there. Do you hear that? It feels like 
the interior feels like paper it's so super thin and just doesn't feel nice at all and you can even see it's hard to it's hard to tell here on camera but there's like a whole like glue spot on the interior in there and it's just it's not it's cute as all heck it's adorable super glittery but it is not authentic so um that i will be posting on facebook marketplace um so that's everything that i got at her yard sale so eric and i stopped at another sale and there was a lady that had like all of these shoes she had a bunch of fry boots that i was interested in but she wanted 50 dollars for them that was still a great deal for fry boots um, but I did pick up two other boots of hers. So the first pair that I took were these Sorrels. And these are so cute. They're brown and they have this fleece on the sides. And they're fleece lined. Um, but with this plaid detailing and these toggle closures. So super cute. And they are in like brand new condition. I don't think she ever wore them. Or if she did maybe to try them on but never wore them outside these are a size six i tried them on they're a little too tight for me so i did list them i paid ten dollars for these and i currently have them listed as a buy it now for 59 dollars and 99 cents so hopefully come closer to winter time these will go they're super duper cute. And then I also purchased these for $10. And these are a pair of Ugg boots. Um, these are so cute. Again, they look brand new. They're gray. And they kind of have this like leopard print look down here along the rubber. Um, and they are by Ugg. And again, like they just look like, like new condition. So these were a size... These are a size 7, and these fit me way better than the Sorrels, and they're so cute. So I decided to keep these. I don't have them listed. Um, I think I've told you guys before in a video, like, if I hang on to something and come next season, if I don't end up wearing it or that kind of thing, then I'll, then I'll list it. But I like to hold on to the items that you know I just I really like and I think are super cute so sure I could list these and make some money off of them but I personally like them so I'm keeping them for now I also picked up this purse at a yard sale and I had never heard of this brand before when I felt this bag it felt like such nice high quality and that's just one thing like I always say like touch things feel things that you'll know like once you touch something like wow okay that is really nice bag just by feel alone and this one is no exception it's just this navy blue and it's got this woven kind of look to it it's very thick and it's got weight to it um the bottom does have leather it's got a leather strap with this stud detailing just a very nice bag so the brand is called rags to riches if you can see that right in there there we go rags to riches um this bag was five dollars is what i paid for it and it originally retailed for $93, so it was a very expensive bag, brand new, and it's in really nice condition. So these bags are made by artisans in the Philippines. That's the whole brand. The Rags to Riches brand um, is like made by artisans in the Philippines. So like I said, I paid $5 for this bag and I currently have it listed as a buy it now for $49.99. So I didn't see a whole lot of purses by this brand listed. Um, but again, like I said, it's just a very well made purse. So super duper nice. And I love that kind of slouchy look that it has. It's like a hobo, slouchy hobo bag. Alright, so that leads me to the next bag of stuff and all of these items came from a benefit yard sale um they have this yard sale 
Every single year, all of the money that's raised goes towards a young boy that has cerebral palsy. Um, and it's just always a huge sale. Uh, people donate things for the sale like all throughout the year. So, you know, you pay by donation basically. So whatever you want to give for the items that you're taking is, you know, what you pay. Because nothing has a price. You decide kind of thing. Um, so I filled a bag and I'm going to show you what I got. Um, I did find a lot of stuff there. There was so, it was kind of an overwhelming sale. It was a lot larger than it was the year prior. Um, and it was so cold outside that day. And I just, I mean, I dug around for a while, but it just was not the weather to be digging around for stuff. So, uh, the first thing I picked up were these Crocs. These are super cute. They are sandals, like little T-strap sandals made by Crocs. They are a women's size 9. And these here I have listed as a buy it now for $25.99. So I personally like Crocs and I like picking them up too, especially when they're just different. Like they're not just like a solid collar of the, you know, the typical Crocs shoe style i like to pick up the sandals i just sold a pair of disney crocs not that long ago i found one pair of jeans these are by a company called silver jeans jeans in the style sookie and i sold a pair of these in shorts form not that long ago so i decided to pick up these jeans here they're really nicely made they have thick stitching and that kind of thing um they are a size size are you they're a size waist 33 and the length is 32. They are women's jeans though. Um, these here I have listed for, a, these I have listed I think on auction for a starting price of $29.99. I'm not quite sure why I put these on auction. It might have been because I couldn't find many in that size and in this style um, to go by. But they are a nice pair of jeans. These here were really cool. I picked up this box of what is called electric stove knobs with a Z. So they make these kind of crazy themed knobs for your stove, electric stoves. Um, and these are cat themed. So there's four knobs in the box. There's a cat and mouse, one that says meow, and one with some paw prints. So the box is open, but everything is inside, including all of the little um, pieces because I guess it depends on like what size you need for like what you know kind of stove you have um but I was looking up these and they have other ones too I saw like a Halloween theme I saw one with pies um just all different kinds of ones I didn't see any of the cats so I'm hoping you know there's a lot of people that like cats so you know maybe maybe it'll sell so I picked that up and I have it listed for Knobs, 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 stove knobs. I have these listed as a buy it now for $24.99. So we'll see if they go or not. <laughs> they would be so cute on my stove. I didn't try putting them on my stove. I don't know if Eric would be okay with that or not. Um, I picked up this guy as well. This is a juice pitcher. This is by Anchor Hawking. Uh, I think they call these the Tang tang pictures it's got this like flip up lid that's just a really satisfying sound i'm sorry but also like a diamond kind of starburst print to it unfortunately these aren't really worth much i have it listed for a buy it now of twelve dollars and 99 cents it holds about three and a half cups of you know liquid but it's really cute like i could just imagine putting some like sun tea in here in the summer and just you know pouring out your sun tea i need to make some sun tea this year it's some one of my favorite things and i like never take the time to make it so more shoes i found well i should say eric found these these were a pair of men's uh wingtip dress shoes i got them all shined up with some leather cleaner these are by a company called bostonian i don't know if you can see see in there but 
really snazzy pair of men's dress shoes. Um, there is some scuff marks on the inner part of both of the shoes. So whoever purchases them, I mean, they can wear them like that or with a little shoe polish that might buff out. They're a men's size eight. Um, I have these listed for a buy it now. Yes, I have these listed for a buy it now of $39.99. I listed them on the lower end side because of those um, scuff marks. But sometimes men's dress shoes, especially wingtips, can sell high. Alright, Eric actually found these as well. These are a pair of women's Birkenstock sandals. I was just saying, I think it was in my last ching, I sold two pairs of Birkenstock sandals the last pair that sold in my last ching were the last pair I had um, and I couldn't believe <laughs> we found another pair these are really cute they have three straps the style is called Florida I think they're actually a newer style um, they are black and they're in pretty good condition they are a size 39 um, which I believe it was a women's eight to eight and a half is what they will fit but they're in really nice condition considering, and I told you my cha-ching to pick up Birkenstocks no matter what condition. So even though, even though these have been worn, I mean, you can see a little bit of like, obviously someone had worn them because you can kind of see an imprint in there. Uh, but still pick them up regardless of condition. So these here I have listed for a buy it now of $69.99. So we'll see if they go for that price i'm on a shoe kick here eric found a lot of shoes he was really looking through the shoes so these here are super nice these are black leather men's driving shoes or loafers these are by armani jeans very very well made and just oh they're so nice super like soft supple leather um, so these are a men's size 46, which is equivalent to a men's size 13 shoe. So just a really nice pair of leather shoes. So I have these listed. I put these on auction just because I couldn't find these specific ones listed. Um, but I have them on auction with a starting price of $69.99. So... I mean, Armani is a great brand. These are Armani jeans, which may be like a little lower end, um, but still just really, really nicely made. I picked up this shawl, and this is absolutely beautiful, and I wish I could find out more information about it. So it's this black shawl. It has this gorgeous embroidery on it and this black fringe. Um, just so well made. That's the back of the embroidery, but just so, so pretty. Um, there's no tags on it, so I don't know who it's made by. I don't know how old it is. I don't know even what the material is. It's like a silky feel to it, but I don't think it's like 100% silk. At least it doesn't feel like it to me. It just feels silky feeling, if that makes sense. So this here, um, I do think I put this on auction. Do, 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 do. I put this on auction with a starting price of $29.99. Just because I don't know if it's something like super fantastic that I have that might be worth something or if it's just, you know, like an any day, every day type shawl that you can still purchase. I tried finding this exact one and I couldn't. Um, what I was finding was... Other ones that looked similar were um, Spanish flamenco shawls, uh, like dancing shawls. So I put that in my title. So I don't know. We'll see if it, if it goes anywhere. But um, I just, I couldn't let that sit because it was so gorgeous. I also took one plush. This is a little Garfield plush by Dakin. This is from 1981. He's got a little chef's hat on and a little bib that says, I love lasagna. I just thought he was really cute and there is people out there or are people <laughs> there is people out there there are people out there who collect um garfield so i picked him up and i have him listed as a buy it now of 16.99 there were two others listed but they were both 
um, in the $20 range. Okay, and then the last couple of things I threw in my bag. I took this hat, and I don't have this listed yet because I'm trying to do a little more research. Um, I think it has to do with um, a those fraternal organizations. They're pretty popular um, in my area, like um, the VFW, the Veterans of Foreign Wars, and stuff like that. So I think it has something to do with that. Um, but the hat is filled with all of these really awesome vintage pins. And so I'm thinking maybe taking off the pins that could be a little more desirable and selling them separately. Um, and then, you know, selling the hat with like the rest of the pins that are on it. So I'll just show you a little bit of the pins. So we have this one here, which looks like a little, maybe Chinese man carrying some water jugs on a stick here so that one's really nice i didn't take anything off so like i haven't looked for like um, signatures or anything like that on it um there is a lobster pin here i don't know if this little head was originally on the hat or if they put that there um there's this here i'm not quite sure what that is there is a little spider with a pink gem on its body uh, this is what looks like a little baby hanging. I don't know. This is just very odd. Um, there's like a little insect guy right here. And then over here we have this dog with a bunch of gems. This is a little Mr. Peanut, like lapel pin. Um, we got a little bow pin right here. This is a snake charmer. And look at the snake. It like bounces around. It's super cool. Um, then we have this bug down here that kind of jiggles. And then this like big kind of spider with these springy legs that jingles. It's so <laughs> crazy looking. Kind of creepy actually. Um, but yeah, it's just filled with all sorts of unique older pins. So... I may try to take some of these pins off and sell them separately. So I haven't done anything with this hat yet. Um, let me know what you guys would do. Would you take off um, some of the more interesting pins and try to sell them separate or just try and sell the whole hat with all of the pins attached? I just wasn't sure what to do with that. Um, so, but I did put that in my bag. And then I also put in some like older stationary type items. I put in these four, no, it's three. Three sheets of these angel stickers. They're marked 1999 Hallmark cards. I was seeing like one sheet of these selling for like four bucks. Not a lot of money, but you know, I mean, I got them because I have an old um, pencil box that my aunt gave me. And I have some like older stationary pieces and I was going to list that pencil box and fill it with all sorts of vintage like pencils, and erasers and stuff like that. Um, and since we split the money anyway, like I don't mind putting some stuff in it that was mine as well. So some of these stickers might go in there. And then I was seeing a bunch of like vintage pencils. So those are gonna go probably in the pencil box as well. Um, they are new, they've never been used. This one says Aruba, it's green, and it's got um, lizards all over it. I don't see a date, but it's obviously older. And these need cleaned off, <laughs> this one's so dirty. This one is a SeaWorld from 1989 but again it's never been used it's blue and it has a killer whale on the top of it this one is shaped like a moose head and it says cool as a moose i had a pencil like this but it was shaped kind of like a heart it was impossible to use the erasers on them they were just for fun little novelty things this one has a kind of foam topper and it says Vallarta on it. So probably like a little souvenir pencil. So that's what the little foam topper looks like. But again, never used, but no date, obviously older. This one is a Carnival Cruise pencil. It's got these cute little tropical fish 
on the top and it says made in Taiwan there if they need cleaned off that has some gunky bits on as well um, this one says friends are forever uh, this is by Russ it's got this wacky little guy on the top and says friends are forever hopefully you can see that there we go and then the last one I threw in was this dinosaur was this dinosaur one again never used this still has some wrap wrapping on it and it's got a little purple dinosaur on the top so all of those pencils um will probably be going in the pencil box i don't know if any of them would be worth potentially listing separately or not i'll i'll look them up before i list them but um the hat and those pencils i think were pretty much the only things i haven't um listed quite yet uh, but that is everything for this haul um, I think I found a lot of awesome things that week. Uh, Eric and I went out this past week as well, and I found some really awesome things. Uh, the second yard sale I stopped at, oh my gosh, I found a holy grail item, and I couldn't believe it. You guys had to stay tuned for that. Oh my gosh, I'm still like kind of flipping out about it a little bit. Uh, but that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know what you thought down below and I will see you next time.